Hi guys, Penguin Overlord here, and welcome back to Ghost Recon Wildlands. And in today's video, I'm going to give a quick review of the Mark 18 Assault Rifle. And this is going to be a quick review, because this is just a solid rifle that I really have no complaints about. Let's go down the checklist, shall we? So, recoil. Recoil control with the Comp V2 and the M23 grenade launcher on it. Check. Does really well. Bullet drop does actually surprisingly well compared to some of the other assault rifles in the game. If you could equip with the long barrel on the Mark 18, you'd actually have a comparable bullet drop to the AUG A3, which has one of the lowest bullet drop, actually the lowest bullet drop out of all of the assault rifles in the game. It handles solidly, even with a grenade launcher attached to it, so you're going to get decent ADS speed and reload time um, with the assault rifle, even with the grenade launcher attached. The only real thing that I kind of have one issue with, but it's not really an issue because it still does fairly well. So if you go look at the damage section, uh, damage bar, um, comparing all the weapons, like, let's say let's go to the uh, 416, which um, has the same barrel on it. I have different parts on it, but for the purpose of the video, it'll still apply. So it's got a standard barrel. You'll see that the Mark 18 does, at least according to the stats, significantly more damage than the 416. It's got a longer damage bar. Um, however, in a lot of gameplay with me playing around with this rifle and with head-to-head -head footage I took with it, with uh, with this rifle compared with the 416, I honestly didn't really notice a real difference. And even when I went back and analyzed some recorded footage that I took of it, um, no real difference um, between the 416 and the Mark 18. They still took around the same amount of bullets to kill enemies, at least as far as I could tell. I mean, damage is kind of hard to tell in Wildlands because, you know, critical hits and stuff like that, so... It's a little bit complicated, but I honestly didn't notice the Mark 18 outperform any assault rifle significantly, like the damage bar would suggest. That being said, it still does fairly well in combat. It's honestly, the damage is comparable to most of the other assault rifles in the game. So it's not really a bad issue. It's just kind of like, why did Ubisoft give the Mark 18 uh, a significantly higher damage bar when it doesn't really do more damage. That's kind of... It's just you can't really trust the damage bar in this game, unfortunately. So keep that in mind if you do intend to spend credits on it. You're not going to be overpowered running around with this rifle. But it is a solid assault rifle. So if you have the extra store credits from getting... Um, getting uh, store credits from duplicates in the prestige crates then feel free to pick it up. It's a decent assault rifle, and I do like playing around with it. That being said, you know, with Ghost Recon Breakpoint coming out in a few months, I really wouldn't um, bother spending actual money to get the Mark 18 or any of the other weapons in the game, unless you have, like, a gift card or something like that, because, I mean, Breakpoint's going to be coming out, and by then, like, there's going to be a very small amount of people playing this game, so if any, at all. So, yeah, I wouldn't really buy any of the DLC weapons, like I said in a previous video, but if you are going to spend extra store credits to get a DLC weapon, the Mark 18 is a solid one that you should consider getting. So that's my take on it. Hope this video helped you guys out. I'm Penguin Overlord, and I will catch you all next time. Take care, guys.